Bay Doggy. Salt and pepper. So that's him. Quite a nice one, really. Well happy with that. So. Welcome to Fishing Squad. Well, tonight I'm going to do a pollock curry. That pollock that I caught yesterday, you saw on video. Um, I filled it off at the mark. Um, I like to wash it in the, so the, sea, the sea water in fresh rock pools. Clean it all off. Get as many bones out of the mark as I can. Then what I do is I come, I come back and I'm, I'm going to prepare it. Try and remove a few more bones. It's always going to be an odd one, no matter how good you are filling it. You're just wasting fish if you go mad removing bones. I'm going to leave the skin on. I'm not going to uh, rinse it again in fresh water or anything like that because I think it um, takes the taste out of it. I think fresh water ruins sea fish when you, you know, when you rinse it off. It makes it break up when you cook it. Um, it'll keep the fish nice and firm. And it should respond well to being put in a curry sauce. I'll show you what the ingredients that we've got. Ingredients are like two fillets off a two pound, I think about two pound, difficult to say because them scales I was using were, uh, when they did the pounds it was in like uh, a numer a numerical figures of like one to a hundred for a pound if you like, so half a pound would be two pound fifty is it, yeah, um, two and a half pound sorry, half a pound would be fifty if you like, I think it was two sixteen so it's just over two pound isn't it. The other two fillets off it. There's enough there for a meal for two people comfortably. You might get three with obviously we're gonna be adding an onion to it, peppers, a bit of coriander, um, and then we're gonna put obviously a, a curry sauce, chicken tikka, uh, chicken tikka, a tikka sauce. We've got some prawns to go in, and they'll be served with like brown rice, naan breads, poppadoms, and um, we've got some garlic infused oil for cooking the pollock in. I'm going to just go through the the fillets, remove any bones. I've got a lot of them out, believe it or not. Um, they haven't even been frozen yet, this fish, which is always a good idea with pollock, to leave it in the fr fridge overnight. It seems to respond better. It doesn't break up as much when you're cook, cook, cooking it. It doesn't become kind of sloppy. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to go through it, take the bones out. I'm going to dust it in a bit of flour, just lightly. Just helps keep it together. And I'll uh, fry my onions, peppers up, fry the pollock, and then add it all into a pan with the prawns, curry sauce. And I think we'll be laughing at that. I think it'll be spot on. I was going to go through the ring roll of making my own curry sauce. Um, obviously, you can do that as well if you want. It's up to you. It'll, it'll take any sort of sauce, really. So, uh, I've, I've made uh, fish pies with it before. It's lovely, fish pies. It's lovely battered as you saw in one of the previous videos that we did. It's just a really nice, you know, substitute to cod. It's a really nice fish really, it's lovely. So we'll, we'll see how we get on with this. Just a case of just feeling where the rib cage is and just making sure that we've got any bones out that's still in it. The main bones are in the rib cage, the bigger ones, the, you know, the ones that will cause you most discomfort when uh, trying to enjoy your curry. So that's like part of the rib cage there. I'll just put that to one side. So I did remove a few of them. You sometimes get some down the, like the middle of the fillet where it's on the backbone. This one don't feel too bad. I did quite well with that one. And again, this one. I might have a couple still left in it. Just rub your knife across it and you'll feel the end, edge of the bones so I'll trim these out then we'll get on to the next stage I've had to, I've had to use a knife with a bit of a serrated edge on it I haven't got my filleted knife I've just teased them out I've, you can also use tweezers to go down and take the little bones out I mean I'm not that fussy about bones to be fair I just think taking too many out it's waste, wasting fish in it um, but you can you can tease more out, right? you know, you can get some tweezers and go really go into it. I mean, there's some little bones in there, they're not going to do you any harm anyway. But if you were really picky, you can 
tease them out if you get some tweezers or even with your fingers you can do it sometimes. Or your other choice is a bit of fillet there. The other choice is you can cut, you can trim with the scissors, trim up there, just like about three, four mil say either side, and just trim that bit out, and you'll get rid of any. Like, you get some little bones in this top section, about just so much to there, say where it's, where it's attached to the backbone. The rest of the fillet is quite um, bone free. You tend to find if you've got kids and you're making anything with fish, the top section from like the, where the rib cage starts. I don't know if you can see that where the rib cage starts here, the lower bit of the rib cage up. You're going to have bones in this top section, but it's more meaty, it's like the loin. But if you've got kids, I, I cut that there. And anything I do for the kids, I'll make out of this section because there's no bones in it. Just, just uh, something to bear in mind. So, we'll, uh, we'll crack on. There's a, there's a few small bones in that bit. I'm not bothered about bones. Um, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get the scissors because it'll be easier cutting it up with the scissors. Let's put them in there. Uh, just bear with me a minute. Got some fairly sharp scissors. I'm leaving skin on as well, guys. That's another thing. So I'm happy with that piece there. But we're just going to cut it into like strips to begin with. We've descaled this fish at the mark as well, by the way. I ain't having. I'm not doing anything with fresh water. Fresh water ain't going anywhere near it. So I'll just cut it into strips, or like sections, if you like, crossways like that. Bones. I think I've always got them all out actually to be fair. Yep, so I'm just gonna put this in there. So that's that then. So what we'll do is we'll get a bowl of flour, dust it in flour, and uh, crack on with the other bits. A bowl with a bit of flour in, we're gonna add to it. A bit of salt, probably not bother with any pepper because we've got curry in it. Let's put the fillets in, straight in, just give them a light dusting, just put them all in, like that, and then just give them a light dusting. What we're going to do is we're going to heat a pan with some oil in, some of the garlic infused oil. Just, uh, just this oil here we're going to use, this garlic infused oil. Um, heat the pan up, get it fairly warm, and then just let these sizzle and just seal them. We use the flour to like seal them. Put my fish to one side in the flour. I'm just heating the pan up. In the meantime. We need to be slicing some onions up and some red peppers. Right, so we've got an onion here. I'm going to do what you do standard as an onion.
Beef's quite roughly chopped. Don't, I'm not a chef, probably just as well. <laughs> so we're going to get these. We've got two, two frying pans now with oil heating up. One for the peppers and onion, one for the fish. So we'll go over to the cooker and we'll show you what's happening over there. Right, so I'm just going to put the fish in and this pan's just preheated. I'm just going to put it in, it'll take long to cook. I guarantee you that. Left the skin on as well. I'm just, it's just a bit warm now, let's bring it on. Don't want it to cook too quickly. Just want to seal it so it doesn't fall apart in the curry. That's why I put flour on and that's why I left the skin on. And that, that's why we didn't wash it in fresh water. Just wash it in fresh sea water. Which is probably, it's probably cleaner. The, the water we washed it in is probably cleaner than what comes out of your tap. But it is. Absolutely, it's got to be. Let's put that back on. I just want to be lightly dusted, you know what I mean? I'm going to burn a bit too much flour. Turn this one down. I've got a pan here for the onions and peppers as well. You can put out in the curry really though, you can put veg in it and everything. You know, like broccoli, cauliflower, that works well, peas. Let's put this pot to one side. Alright, then we've got onions. Probably needs to be a bit warm on that pan. Just can't keep it a bit on that. That's what it's sizzling. Just want to sweat these onions a bit. So once it starts sizzling, just turn it down a bit. Peppers. Let's get a bit more heat on that pan with pollock in. Just want a bit of colour coming on them bits. Uh, on about three minutes the pollock now. There's a little bit of colour coming through underneath. Just a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to give them a couple... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, onions are making me sneeze. You've got the onion and peppers sweating away nicely on, in this small pan. Just a basic, you know, it's basic this really. Nothing complicated. Interesting see how it turns out, won't it? Uh, Pollock, tikka. <laughs> We're getting a bit of colour on the pollock there now. So keep it, most of it skin side down you'll notice. Probably stays together better if you start skin side down. So you can just get a bit more heat coming through. I reckon about five minutes to set out. We'll just judge it on colour. You want just a bit of brown side to colour up. Come, a bit of golden colour starting to come through on it. Hopefully it'll hold together with the curry that when it's in the curry. A bit of colour on that one. It's probably need just a little bit more heat. Now for the curry sauce, I'm going to tip the curry sauce in it and warm it up. Then put everything into this mix when it when it's ready, when everything else is ready. Pollock still simmering away, so it peppers and onions. I'm just going to tip this into here and then uh, we'll just put it on a low heat ready for the pollock and veg to be added to it. So sort of colour you want to be getting on it, I've just turned it all over. Um, you can see it's quite golden, it's not burning. That's still sweating away. I put some curry sauce in the pan there. I just put a little bit of milk in the jar to rinse it out and tip that in as well. I'm going to add my prawns to that now. Um, I don't know if this is how you, you professional chef do it. I'm not a professional chef. I'm just basically demonstrating how you can make a curry. I've never had pollock curry before. I've had fish curry before with cod and ling. Um, this is basically how we did it. So.
to add the stop to that. Put it on a low heat. And, uh, smelling, smelling really good. Pollock sometimes looks raw, smells a bit off. No, I'm not right, you know what I mean? Not like, do not smell very appetising. Um, but once you put some flour in it and start cooking it with the oil, it smells like cod. So. Mm. Just simmering away, just about make it out. I think. Um, just took the pollock off the heat, not the heat off them. You don't want them too stewed, you want them to still have a bit of taste so they're not be all mushy. I'm going to add the pollock and the veg to the sauce, but then uh, let it simmer away. And then coriander goes on the top of it to serve. Add your fish to your curry, well, it doesn't really matter when you do it, but I'm going to put the naan breads in ready. Um, We've got some poppadoms as well, I think. So, uh, yeah, they're over there at the back. We've got poppadoms. Right, so I'm going to add the fish and the veg now to the curry sauce. We don't want, want, want too much oil in it or anything like that, obviously. So, we could have done it all in the same pan. Probably if I'd use a bit less oil, if you're using a different meat without putting flour to it, you could probably get away with just doing it all in the same pan. It is, it is uh, we'll just see, well, we'll see how it goes, isn't it? The pollock looks and feels really nice. Right, put that in. Add the veg. Let's give it a bit of a stir now because I don't want to overdo it. It's a gentle stir. I don't I want the pollock to break up. Add too much oil to the mix. Oh. Gentle stir around the edge just to like toss it in it rather than giving it a right good stir in. It's folding it rather than stirring so it doesn't break the fish up. It's looking nice, isn't it? I mean, at this point we could add some coriander anyway. <coughs> it nicks very kind of a sliced up. <laughs> we'll add a bit anyway, coriander. And then we will put some over the top of it before we serve. I think we've really done this fish justice, you know. It's one of them fish that's really brilliant for a lot of recipes. It is literally just white fish. It's really tasty fish. Really good. And obviously this curry will be quite nice with the prawns in and what have you. It's about noon I'm done. So we're going to put the rice on. It's only micro rice. I'm not going to put any of the to that because I'm sure everybody knows how to do a bit of microwave rice. There's nothing special about that. And then we'll, uh, we'll uh, show it just before we serve. Just serving it, it looks absolutely and smells absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm well looking forward to this. There probably is enough for three, to be fair. We've just got some, what is it, just brown basmati rice, haven't we? Let's go to it. The Top Shop Big Black Friday Price Drop. Fibre broadband from £21 a month. Super fast, super reliable, super right. price. So we'll uh, put some coriander over the top. We'll just slice it up. Just put a bit of. I'll just, just grab it. Just wait a second. <laughs> Sorry. I'm there. Come on. 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 Let's uh, get some, just, just a bit to serve. 
I'm gonna go mad. So uh, that looks like the final dish. Not bad, eh? Well, uh, we've got some poppadoms as well to go with that, so I think that's going to be really nice, really nice. Hi guys, well, I'm just going to have a taste of it. You know, it's, I'm sure, I know it's going to be nice, but we'll just... Uh, Oops. Um, so it's bollock and prawn tikka basically. Tastes quite nice. That coriander on top just um, makes it taste really fresh. So I'm quite happy with that. You know, I could sit here and go, oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's just a different twist on pollock, something different. I could have put it in batter and still try something different. So uh, other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy eating this. Um, other than that, keep safe, Thailand. Have a good one. I'll see you later.